Meghan Markle could leapfrog into top political office through a key California Senate seat which may soon become vacant, says U.S. political expert. The seat, which could apparently be an attractive option for the Duchess of Sussex, is currently held by Democrat Dianne Feinstein who is nearly 88 years old, meaning she is unlikely to run again at the next elections. Speaking to Express.co.uk, Richard Johnson, U.S. politics professor at Queen Mary University, said that the Duchess of Sussex would be eligible for the key powerful seat. He said, if she was truly politically ambitious, the key powerful seat that she would be eligible for would be the key California Senate seat that is currently occupied by Dianne Feinstein, who is nearly 90 and is therefore unlikely to stand again. If she wanted to follow this track of high-profile celebrities leapfrogging to the top office, that Senate seat would be a very attractive one for her. He added that the Duchess would have an advantage in this seat, given California's history of electing celebrities into political office. He said, there is some record of celebrity politicians doing pretty well in the U.S. Obviously, Meghan and Harry are based in California and California has produced Ronald Reagan, who was an actor, and Arnold Schwarzenegger, who was an actor. He also said that Duchess Meghan's visibility and resources would be a major advantage, particularly for this seat. The thing though to say is that it's extremely expensive to run for office in California. California is a state of nearly 40 million people. It's bigger than the whole population of Canada. On the other hand, she's probably got a lot of resources behind her and people who could support her. So she actually wouldn't be in that bad a position compared to other candidates, and also in California, one of the big challenges is the expense of getting your name out there, because of the various very expensive media markets. Well, she doesn't have to worry about that because she's so well known, there will be people in California who think she's not paid her dues for the party and gone through the lower level offices and so on. But I do think just being who she is she would start in a fairly good position just because of the name recognition and the kind of money she could get access to for a campaign. If she were really serious about it, it would be Dianne Feinstein's Senate seat.